Tottenham are being joined in by Mr. Edward P. Joseph, who is a senior fellow at the John Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies. He's also a foreign policy analyst. He's joining us live from Skopje in Macedonia. Now, Mr. Joseph, thank you very much indeed for taking time out and speaking to us here in Vion. Let me begin by asking you this. This is an important visit by Anthony Blinken to China and also in terms of what has been said that the United States and China do not want to decouple, but rather to de-risk their relationship. What do you make of this? I think this was an important visit, and I think that the U.S. managed it reasonably well by having uh, low expectations and sending signals of very low expectations for the meeting in the run-up to it. In fact, there seemed to be no indication that the U.S. was trying to uh, accommodate China in, in almost any sphere. And then, with these low expectations as the backdrop, we come out of this and we see President Xi saying that there was progress. And, and that there is actually not just rhetoric, that there's actually agreement. Uh, we know this from the U.S. readout of the meeting between Secretary Blinken and President Xi, that there's actually agreement to uh, work together, to have uh, working groups and, and work on issues where there is overlap and cooperation between Washington and Beijing. Uh, and, of course, on those issues, the, the severe issues that on which Washington and Beijing do not agree, there's at least the commitment on both sides to maintain communication and to try to prevent any slide into outright confrontation and conflict. Please. Absolutely, indeed. That, that's, that appears to be the tone and tenor of the statements that have been made. And also, Mr. Joseph, do you see there is any kind of a divergence in terms of how the United States would want to engage with China and how American allies in Europe, such as France and Germany, would want to engage with China? Yes, I believe that the uh, approach that the Americans are taking is uh, much more cautious, for example, and restrained than the tone that, uh, for example, uh, President Emmanuel Macron of France uh, sent in his uh, last visit. Although I would say that in general, the European Union across Europe, including in France, are generally aligned with the United States and generally very concerned about China's posture and here what uh, China thinks uh, and uh, the Chinese foreign minister Wang Jing kept uh, mentioning this, that he emphasized that uh, his uh, resentment, China's resentment at this so-called, in his words, China threat theory. I believe that that threat actually is widely shared here in Europe. And uh, in fact, there's uh, pretty close convergence right. between the United States and the EU. Please. Absolutely indeed. My final quick question, Mr. Joseph, is do you think in the aftermath of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the American policy towards China has undergone a slight nuance change? Because what, what seems to be now, uh, you know, the, the statements that are now being put forth, it appears that the United States would prefer to mend its ties with China so that it can use the leverage that China has on Moscow. I believe that there's uh, some truth to that. We, we should uh, make it clear here and remind ourselves that it was Secretary Blinken's comments uh, recently to the Chinese foreign minister about that the U.S. Uh, was concerned, very concerned that China would provide weapons to Russia and that uh, Secretary Blinken made it very clear that this was intolerable for the U.S. And that sparked another round of tensions uh, with China and sharp retorts. I think, uh, I think Russia looms very largely here, uh, right. but uh, the U.S. is, is uh, continued on the path to try to isolate Vladimir Putin for his unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Thank you. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Edward P. Joseph, for joining us and getting us all those details there. You're welcome. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.